I'm going to solve this problem using the square root property. I have uh, 5x minus 2 squared is equal to 4. Again, the square root property says if you got something squared equal to something else, then you drop your squared and you put plus or minus square root around the other side. Well, 4 is 2 times 2. And remember, with the square root, we're looking for a pair of somethings. So here's a pair of 2's. They're going to come out in front as a single 2. So we've got 5x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus 2. Uh, now we're solving for x. So we'll take the negative 2 over. It becomes a positive 2. So we've got 2 plus or minus 2. And then we'll divide both sides by 5. Those fives cancel, and we got x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 over 5. Now we're going to split this up into a positive version and negative version, because what that plus or minus means is it means we have 2 plus 2 over 5, and we have 2 minus 2 over 5. The reason why we split them apart in this case is because we can combine together the top parts. 2 plus 2 is 4, so we end up with 4 fifths. Now on this one, 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 divided by anything is 0. And those would be our two answers.